but you gotta be a little, have to tighten that rope a little. I gotta, this first one, I think it needs to be lowered a little bit when you look at it, George. Very first one. Yeah. Move it in more and down, a little bit each way. I had been convinced by Randy and others that I should meet this guy. And that meant flying out to Oregon and meeting him at the Castle of Chaos in Albany. One of the first things he did was take me outside, take me around the corner of his house and look, and there was this impossible, apparently cubicle crate with, with four vertical lines and four horizontal lines all connected. One board that appears to be on a back corner goes from the top to the bottom of the back corner, and yet it comes in front of one of the horizontal boards that's out in front. Uh, it, it can't exist. We ran a picture of that in Omni. I did a feature story called Magic Man about Jerry. The story got immense uh, readership in Omni. Everybody loves magic and everybody loves being deceived and then frequently finding out how they were deceived. And it was one of our, our most successful articles. We published the picture and I, my thought was, well, in my games column, we'll publish reality. We'll show what the actual box looked like as you step to the side. And the publisher of Omni was Bob Guccione, who took a look at the pictures and said, no, I think it'd be better if we just print the illusion and don't print the answer to the until a few months later and have, have people write in and tell them how you think they, that, that he made this. I got an entire column of games all going on the mail that came in, people saying, here's how he must have done that. And some of them were popsicle sticks uh, uh, glued together, and some of them were drawings saying, here's what you would see from that angle. And as a matter of fact, the majority of people came up with another way of doing this impossible box that was different from the way Jerry did it. Somebody sent a picture to a magic magazine years ago, said this is the way Houdini got out of the boxes, sent it as a joke. And I thought that if I could build a real one, send it to the magazine and say, send this to so-and-so and tell him I've got the box built, but I can't get the size nailed on. And so I made a matchstick thing, and this just happens to be what I thought at first, and which I'm glad I did because it's so far different than a re real, real box. This, of course, is a good example of, of how you interpret what you see.